What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Bing Gaming video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Now, during the night, it seems that the PlayStation Store was actually updated, so you can now see uh, certain games that actually have a PS5 Pro enhanced label now, which is really, really, really cool. In fact, I'll actually show you what that looks like if you just give me two seconds and I get this right and I don't put flipping Twitter instead of X and it actually leads me to uh, the wrong website. So uh, here we go. So if we go over to here, you can actually see now, um, where is it? I can't remember where the label is, but it, yes, it's right in front of me. It's here. PS5 Pro Enhanced is now got its own label on the PlayStation Store. So if you do want to actually go start looking up some games on there, please do DM me if you find any that, that is not on the list we're about to go through. So overnight, there was a list posted of all the games people have so far found. So if you do find any more, please let me know. So Alan Wake 2, we obviously knew this one. Assassin's Creed Shadows, we obviously uh, knew this one. This game has now been delayed, unfortunately, but probably needs it. Demon Souls, Dragon Age, The Veil Guard, Dragon's Dogma 2, Dynasty Warriors. You, you guys can see I'll gradually kind of go through them here. I'm really surprised to see some on here like EA Sports FC. Uh, from what I've heard with like F124, it's one of the best enhancements out of all the games on this list that people have actually tested. Not all the games on the list, sorry, but out of the games people have tested so far, F1 is up there and people are saying it's really, really good. Uh, again, like Madden, just surprised to see so many titles from EA here and like sports college football just just kind of strange empire of ants is another one that's like a new game using like unreal engine 5.3 i think very odd like strategy game with genuinely ants um some of these i haven't heard of obviously rebirth fortnite uh gt7 obviously we know some of these here um as a VR game here as well, which is good to see. Liza P, I was so hyped about because I love this game. I think it's one of my favorite games of the generation. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, Yakuza, the uh, Like a Dragon, the pirate game that's been announced recently. Marvel Rivals, obviously all the Marvel's Spider-Man games. Uh, Snake Eater, uh, Mortal Kombat, My Little Universe, so many here. No Man's Sky, there's some again I haven't heard of redacted. Let me know if you have in the comments as well. Um, many Resident Evils, I think, well, actually two so far. I think there's going to be more though. Uh, Rise of the Ronin, which I'm definitely di wanting to dive into. Um, there's, there's a decent number of games here. Until Dawn, the upcoming one, is going to be uh, done as well. I was really disappointed in the R section to, to not see Returnal. Like for me, Returnal is one of the top games that I actually want um, announced to, as a patch because either a 120 FPS mode or just a much better quality looking um, uh, 60 FPS mode would be really, really good for a game like this. Uh, but I think the main reason is this has a they've done like a base uh, there's not like a set base resolution so it scales depending on the power of the system you're kind of playing it on and if, i believe it's going to work that way so basically it's a variable um resolution i can't remember the exact right wording but it's not set to a certain base so if you're running a more powerful hardware hypothetically rather than it being like 1080p base resolution it may just put itself up to 1440p on the pro because it's a more powerful system i'm hoping that's the case because i really want this game to look much better but also at the same time i would really like a, a nice patch to have yeah maybe a 1440p upscaled to 4k but also adding in some really nice ray tracing features to the 60 fps mode and then an unlocked mode like with no ray tracing and maybe 120 hertz unlocked mode that would be really 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 nice to see from games like Returnal because I just think that especially that's like a that's like a first party Sony title now right they own Housemark they can absolutely say right here's the PS5 Pro please start working on it but again maybe some developers haven't had as much time with the dev kit yet and it's just something that they are working on currently uh we're going to see more and more titles i would imagine added to this list up until launch when people start going into the playstation store diving into every aspect of that to see what's been updated what hasn't been updated i've been personally checking a lot of these games just to make sure that there definitely are and this list is fully uh, accurate there is absolutely all of this stuff is correct um and there is probably many to be added as well like i'm hoping we're gonna like go on the store sometimes and maybe see a list of games i did see someone actually post um a kind of like photo i'm just kind of looking for it in the background right now to see if there's actually like a if i can find it. i didn't repost it so that was my bad but i saw somebody have an image of what looked like to be the playstation online store and um yeah sorry i've just seen that uh maggie smith has died which 
really sucks. She was obviously in Harry Potter. Most people will know her from, and that really, really sucks. Sorry, just saw that on Twitter. But anyway, uh, yes, so I, I really want to see a PlayStation Store section where it's like enhanced games for um, PS5 Pro. Like, I really want to... Uh, really want to have that sort of section on the PlayStation Store where you can go on PS5 Pro Enhanced, see all the lists so you know what you maybe want to go back and dive into because I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty much going to spend the first month of the PlayStation 5 Pro time just replaying so many of these games like i'm already downloading games and putting the discs into my ps5 having a certain number of games installed on my external hard drive so that because obviously i don't have space on my even my internal ssd that i need to actually get an upgraded one at some point but i've been putting a load of games like stellar blade elden ring to test uh wukong i've kept on there even though i finished that uh, demon souls like loads of these games on my external drive so i can just pull them across when i plug that into the pro and actually go and test uh so many of these games and we'll do it on the channel, we'll test it. I've got capture cards to record 4K 60. I can actually record 4K 120, but I don't think YouTube does that yet, if I'm correct. Um, I can even do 8K 60 recording, but again, I don't. YouTube's not gonna do that. So in the end of the day, I want to test as many of these games at launch as possible. We'll try stuff out. We'll do an unboxing video. We'll be testing this thing rigorously when I get mine on day one. And I'm just excited to see what new games. But if there's anything updated for this list, I will do another video just following up on what's coming out. But let me know what you guys think. What games do you want to see? Because I imagine there's a long list that people have in mind uh, of, of games they want to see. My, what, what is also your top game? What's your game you're going to first play on this console? Because... I'm really like trying to debate in my head. I'm trying to think like, what do I want to play first out of the list that I know has been patched? Again, I'll, I'll have a little look again. Um, I'm trying to think like Alan Wake 2, I have not yet played the first game. So I am planning on trying to get that done before this uh, this console comes out. So I can do that games because I'm judging by what it looks like. It looks like it's going to be a really, really high detailed one. Um, but also Stellar Blade. I don't know if you guys have played it. It's one of my favorite games. I absolutely love Stellar Blade and I can't wait to try this new like 80 FPS mode they got. And again, you don't have to replay the whole game, but maybe there'll be like an, uh, there's, actually there's DLC being added to this game. So maybe we'll hear more about that before launch. Star Wars Outlaws, I was surprised to see there. That's going to be one that definitely needs an update actually, judging by what I've heard. Jedi Survivor is one I'm very much willing to check out. Callisto Protocol, again, one of my favorite games as well. Um, but anyway, we'll leave it there for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comment let me know what comments let me know what you're excited for also and i hope you guys have managed to pick up some of the stuff you wanted to pick up over the last few days whether it's a new dual sense 30th anniversary or i also got a ps portal 30th anniversary as well so um let me know what you guys have picked up or have wanted to pick up thank you for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and goodbye for now